The latest Rhode Island construction project causing a headache for drivers the last few days. Today was the first big commuting day since the Washington Bridge project began on Friday. And traffic, as you can see right there, has been a gridlock on and off ever since. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts has reaction from drivers. Amanda? Well, Mike, as you can see, traffic is slow right now going over the bridge, but nowhere near as bad as earlier today. Drivers I spoke to were shocked to hear that this project is lasting until 2026. But Rideout says they're making improvements as soon as tonight to make things smoother. Frustrating, and, and here we go again, you know. Here we go again as another construction project kicks off in Rhode Island, this time to repair the Washington Bridge. Trying to merge in the traffic from Taunton Avenue, I had a hard time getting on. It kind of stinks, but you got to do it. Some drivers stuck on the roads that lead to on ramps because of the lane closures. Traffic was backed up into the city of East Providence for miles on Monday. Bad, real bad. About a half hour just on that street, it's not good. The $76 million project is to repair the bridge that the Department of Transportation says is structurally deficient. And instead of shutting down the entire bridge, they're working on it in sections. <laughs> Starting at the Broadway interchange in East Providence, all four travel lanes have been narrowed and shifted right, and surrounding on-ramps reduced to one lane. That's what's to blame for all this congestion since construction started on Friday. Well, I, I was going to get on that ramp, but it's so many cars I came here and I was just, it's the same. So I got caught up in both traffics. Rideout says they've kept an eye on the new traffic pattern and will make adjustments Monday night, including adding signage and traffic delineators to keep drivers from changing lanes. As for those drivers, some are shocked to hear how long they'll be dealing with this. So it's going to be like that until 2026. <laughs> no, sir. 2026, you got to be kidding. Now, Rideout encourages drivers who take the Taunton Ave or Parkway ramps to instead use the Pawtucket Avenue and Broadway on ramps and to avoid changing lanes if you can. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.